How about how, like, the bow gun can go from the most useless weapon of all to the most useful as long as you have exploding arrows? It's the weirdest fucking thing. It's yeah. so... Yeah. It's I don't know, weird. I don't know what to think about it. It's like, it's a... It's like, part of me is like, oh, that's kind of neat. And then other part of me is like, this is fucking stupid. Like, it takes, ten, <laughs> like, 12, 12 regular bowgun shots or one exploding tip arrow to kill a zombie. <laughs> this is neat, but also, fuck this. <laughs> That's basically... Just give me more exploding arrows. <laughs> give me more exploding. And there are not enough in this game. There really are not. No, 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 no. The ex I think you can make, like, one batch. Uh, I I remember that, like, uh, last time... I, I tried to replay this twice after I got this on the current gen systems, and one time I had to stop because I was just... I, I just screwed it up royally and part of it was oh, you need enough explosive bolts to take care of the tyrant <laughs> and the second time it was like yeah and now I do but also there's still not enough of them also anti-BOW gas the yeah, the cousin Oliver of the grenades <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good I can use it's, a gas grenade. it's in this. one it's just in this okay yep. so Hey, hey, you know what? Get rid of them. Mm hmm I don't want them put back in. They're useless. They are. Well, forget it. They're especially <sighs> considering most of the enemies aren't really affected because they don't breathe anymore. Yeah, that is a problem. That is a problem. Ah, uh, no, first person yes. Alfredin. Oh man, he's playing some Call of Duties. Three sixty no scope. I'm. I'm bad at this. He's really bad at this. He was too busy being rich and aristocratic to learn how to aim. No! Wow. Wow, that is a, that is a turkey. Right? I mean, that's... Vanessa? <laughs> yes. Please don't ever make that sound again. <laughs> <laughs> I make no promises. As, as the person handling the tech for this stream, I ask, please do that again at some point soon, because that is glorious. That is that is so yeah. turkey. That is such a turkey. I can see Bob Belcher getting really enamored with it and trying to bake it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> to, to further Bob Burger it. Always further Bob Burger it. it. And I just, I, I saw the opportunity and I had to take it because yeah. he was right there. He was right there. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pick up all this stuff. We're going to dump a bunch of this in the item box. We are absolutely going to save. Um, yeah. Saving it. Saving it. Um, so I will do. Doing it. So the good Doing it. So the good news is we will not run into the problem we did with uh, PCSX1 with Resident Evil 3, where we had the problem with um, the doohickey with the what you call it. Uh, trying to figure out what I need here. Sure. I love all your technical talk. <laughs> I definitely know what you're talking about. Uh, where I had to keep restarting the stream and everything. Um, oh, yeah, when yeah. It was, when I would save the game. So I'm going to I'm gonna do t both things. I'm going to quickly... Because for those right. of you at home, I, I I do own this game legitimately. Um, I'm just having to run this on an emulator because because reasons. Okay, so too let's... legit to quit. Mm -hmm. We're gonna save it on number nine, number nine. Okay, all right, and that save is done. And uh, we'll see if this actually can emulate the emulate the, the this point because it'd be nice to be the kind of cool the cool guy that doesn't do any saves, you know. Like, but we're still saving. You got we're not that good a gamer. Yeah, we're not. Um, I I can I can go through remake two. Yeah. Oh, actually, I did go through re um the uh, remake one without saving. Hmm. Nice. I have done. And zero. I have done Resident Evil one. Sorry, Resident Evil two without saves, and I think I might have done Resident Evil one without saves either. Oops. Did I? I'm gonna say two one zero definitely. Okay, that's All of them without crazy saving. Crazy people. Oh. You crazy. Oh my god! I well, first, wild. I thought that I thought that I thought those pe those pencils that were knocked down on the table were was more bowgun ammo, and I got really excited for a second, like oh more bowgun bolt <laughs> up. Nope. Oh. Nope. Uh, uh, All right. Aww. I got just... my excited. I hope so, but over nothing. Okay, so it was just a, a pencil. Everybody, get ready. We're gonna have the cameo from the best Code Veronica character in just a moment. 
There he is. Yay! Welcome, Claire. See, it's spot on. The area you are in, a special playground I have prepared just for you. Ooh, how many swing sets does it have? Please try and keep me a Two. And do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. Because Netflix hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Would would Alfred have just become like one of those weird like like an Elon Musk tech bro that like just smokes weed and watches Netflix all day? Probably. I mean he's a weirdo. And he sucks. Yeah. He probably he probably doesn't watch Netflix. He probably just like trawled eBay or Amazon for dresses. He's like uh he's looking up uh uh viral videos of people getting hurt. Oh, yeah, first it's like, ooh, viral videos. Ooh, people getting hurt. That's even better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> he probably, he, he'd be one of those people who hears viral video. Oh, I hope it's a delightful killer virus. He's very disappointed. Yeah. yeah, it didn't it didn't really end up exactly the way he wanted. Okay. First of all, fuck this guy. Second of all, one, two, th nub. Got him. Oh boy. Got like a little. It's like a tired he's got a nub a hunter had a bastard kid together. And um, and kind of like the leech goop from Resident Evil Zero as well. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, they do have the stretchy arms. Yeah. Um, Stretch arm strong. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So the other thing also about the bowgun bolts that I learned, and this is, I can't believe that they even did this. I'm going to comment on this before we get to the next cutscene. So the first time you encounter a banner snatch, it takes three shots and you're able to just go one, two, three, and bam, it dies. All the other banner snatches sure. in this game have this little like stun lock or like this little animation, like a few sets of frames where by the time your second bolt hits it, if you fire it continuously, the second explosive bolt does not count or it doesn't like cause the animation, the death animation to trigger. So you have to have to shoot, pause, and then shoot again. This is what I was finding out when I was researching this from like people's no damage runs and things oh like that. Oh my God, boo. Oh my God, boo. And so I'll, I'll, I'll show what, the, obviously we'll get to the point when I do it the proper way, but it's just, it's one of those, I can't believe that they didn't like, that's what I mean about the mechanics of this game being wonky. But in any case, I can't believe it's not damage. <laughs> Basically. Anyway, cutscene. No! No! I like Reed Richards. Reed Richards. And apparently the Matrix. I too have seen the Matrix. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's funny. Made me laugh. If Steve had survived, maybe he could have found a career as John Wick. That's, oh my god. That, hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that felt good. I, my, no, no he couldn't. Yeah, I... And that sound, ladies and gentlemen, the sound of me breaking my friend's brains. It, I thought about it, and, I, and but then he started talking again, and I was like, no. Mm -mm. Well, you do the... He, see, he would be better maybe as the silent villain character that goes after John Wick and then gets taken out in one shot really quickly. He doesn't. No. Steve isn't. Steve doesn't care enough to be a villain. <laughs> he is. Uh, is Steve basically a hot topic character before hot topic characters were a meme? I'm gonna say probably yes. Hot topic was around back then, wasn't it? It was. Two thousand. Yeah. yeah. I think I almost worked in one once. <laughs> Again, a teenager. Teenager at the time. My friend Phil worked in one. Were there any Steves? Probably. Hmm. Did they have neck collars? <laughs> you know, and that's another thing. The neck collar. That is very um, Battle Royale for the fact that this, yeah. this game came out the year that movie was released. Pretty wild. They could have gotten it from the comics or from the book. That's entirely true. Look, now you've got some ammo, you weenie. I love the detail of the broken 
the broken glass on the floor there is so rad. That cutscene yeah. made me so happy when I first played this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember like uh, there there used to be a, a. Do you remember that music group Three Doors Down? <laughs> yeah, Kryptonite. Yeah, there was a music video about this in particular to that song. Aw. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Wait. It's a shame that they turned out to be uh, Trump fans, apparently. Oh no. That is, no. That's information that was just given to me. They they performed at the inauguration? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Everything is terrible. Anybody notice though that um clearly oh, no. one clip for the Uzis? Yeah, the one clip that he somehow had to split the ammo up and somehow still has a hundred percent. Mallet space. <laughs> oh god, it gets it got worse. Did it get worse? <laughs> no, I'm just still upset. It's still sad. I'm still bummed. Ugh. The sad, uh, sad, sad political takes here at Mystery Death Theater 5000. You'll get a lot of those. For anyone who is watching this many years later, this is 2019. Nobody trusts anybody anymore. And we're all very tired. Very tired. You know what? I would take Steve for what we got. But this area is now clean. He's well-meaning if inept. See? You can depend on me. That's what? giving him too much credit. You see? This thing is a lot Again, more with the gun discipline. Treat every Steve. weapon as if it's loaded. Steve. People? Steve, you just said, I can depend on you, but the guns are the, what you want me to depend on. Which... Yeah, like, is she just wait, gonna when, punch... What is it? Should she just punch him in the face and then take the guns and run away? Yes. Well, now I know who to rely on. Where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to mm. about <laughs> My feelings. Yeah, when I was 13, this was so relatable. Steve. I think it's just that Steve's got, you know, some issues to deal with that, like, he's not allowed to express his emotions appropriately, so it all just comes out in anger. Steve has one second. Anger! He is a teenager. Off, Steve. He's a teenage boy who. I'm sorry, teenage boys. Yeah, I mean, I. Part of me wants to like say like, oh, was it that way? Like, no, I was. I thought, yeah, no, I was. I remember being a teenager. Too much. I remember being a teenager. It. He's a teenage boy. This is this is accurate. But also, like, I know that like masculinity, man. You're, it's hard to express emotions. Puberty's tough. That's that's the thing, yeah. especially like if you have you know trauma, which obviously he does, and mm, boatloads of trauma. And he's, I mean, look at him now. He just probably just he got an ouchie on his knee, and he doesn't have anybody to kiss it and make it better. He took fall damage. Poor bastard. Steve, behind you. Claire took more fall damage. Uh oh. Is no. he's being attacked by zombified Emma Walsh? <gasps> Santa? Papa, can you see me? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's it's very traumatic. I do love that the only way you can tell they're related is because the hair is the same. Nah. They both have the bad haircut. They do. It's kinda like a bowl haircut. And then animate edits before the dumbest thing you possibly could do. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh just... my god. Oh my god, this this is the Vader no. It is. I I, I did love that touch though. The the still firing after he ran out of ammo. Yeah. And he's he's still in shock. I mean the facial expressions for two thousand are actually really fucking good. Yeah, and also Steve's voice actor actually does get a little better after this. Mm hmm Father. Father. Daddy. Father. I'm so sad. Daddy, why won't you hug me anymore? I'm mad at you. 
Not you, Dad. I used to work for Umbrella. I tried to steal information. He was really he bad at it. To the highest bidder. Like I said. He almost got 20 bucks for it. Mom was killed. He was Claire's bad at negotiation. Claire's just standing there going, I don't want to listen to you anymore. Steve. I just want to get out of here. Oh, Steve, I feel bad for you. But also, let me introduce you to Sherry Birkin. Mm-hmm. So stupid. And she's doing perfectly okay. <laughs> Mostly. Mostly. I still would not be have been against Jake actually having been Steve in Resident Evil 6. It's okay now. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It, st it still would have been all right. It, I mean, not with like the relationship thing that they kind of. Yeah. Had. That. Yeah. But, but as like the general concept of him being that, I, I would have been okay with. Yep. I'm actually surprised that there was not more Jake Sherry shipping in the Resident Evil, like, especially like on Tumblr. It was like kind of like, huh, you guys are slacking on the job here. Well, I mean, I, I think it was because it was RE6. Yeah. And also, yeah. I think, well, it, I noticed that RE6 was really, for a lot of those people, it was the Chris and Piers show. <sighs> Time for controversial Resident Evil opinions that aren't controversial to you two, but probably, uh, Resident Evil fans at large. I don't like Piers. Uh, yeah, Piers, Piers is terrible. Don't like him. No. Didn't I care for him. Cheered when he died. I I dislike him way more than Steve. Yes, this this I completely agree with. Steve annoys me, but I actually cannot stand Piers, and I'm so glad when he gets killed off. Yeah. It's because like I I'm not. Everybody tends to kind of overlook that he pulls a PTSD riddled amnesiac back into action and then proceeds to berate him as soon as he makes questionable decisions. And it's like, well, what did you think was going to happen, Piers? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, let's be, let's be completely honest here. As much as any of us like Chris Redfield, after that, he should not have been brought back into the field without rehab. Yeah. Uh, yep. Intensive uh, mental therapy. Oh, Look, Jill. Uh, Jill has not been back in action since five. Oh wow! Yeah, they sent her to like you know boatloads of of BSAA you know therapy and and like medical stuff. Meanwhile, Chris Redfield spends six months as an amnesiac, and they put him back in the field the same day they find him. Not to mention that he's been on a six month bender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh god, the the detoxing that guy's gonna have to go through. Most of, uh, yeah, most of RE6, Chris is going through the DTs. Yeah. And I mean, like, that alone just makes me hate Piers. Because, like, I read the, uh, uh, the, the prequel comic. Well, not specifically the prequel comic, but it was uh, uh, the manga that took place, uh, before the one Six. At the yeah, the one at the school. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's the Marhawa Desire. Yeah, something like that. I am I am being told yes, I am correct on that. Uh and and uh Pierce is fine in that. But that's also because Chris Redfield is not making a lot of questionable decisions in that. No, I mean like Chris is being an agent, whereas in Resident Evil Six he went from being an agent to a team leader. Mm. So he would have felt responsible for every one of his team's death. Yeah, he's not great with the teams. Yeah, just kind of... There's just some people that manage was just not for them. Chris Redfield is one of them. The thing is, well, like, um, if you remember the video footage they were doing for the RE5 trailers. <gasps> Hello. And there was already signs that Chris was uh, suffering from PTSD. So I mean, like, mm -hmm. he should never have been put into that position. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go for like a little while longer, but um, just as a warning for everyone, I have food. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to probably cut this. Uh, we'll get to a save point in just a minute, and then we'll uh, okay. we'll call it the end of this session. Um, well, never mind me. I'll wait. Yeah, this this won't this won't take more than just a couple minutes. Okay, cool. Yeah.